fangirls! Welcome to our very first Disney Souvenir Haul video. I actually meant to record this one back in December when I went on my WDW vacation, but I only had a few days between my Walt Disney World trip and my Christmas trip to go to Vancouver, and I didn't have enough time to capture everything that I bought. And now um, I don't really have everything every anymore because I gave some things to people for Christmas gifts, or my husband's taken some to work, or I've eaten a lot of them, but I do want to show you a few of my favorite things that I got uh, in December 2017 when I was at Walt Disney World um, that are my favorite souvenirs. And I think we're going to start to do these more regularly when we go on our trips. So I know Kim is going to Disney World and on a Disney cruise in a few weeks and she's going to do a haul video. I'm going to do one later for you this year after I get back from Tokyo Disney and Shanghai Disney. So definitely let us know what you think and if you want to see more of our favorite things to buy at Disney parks. So I have 12 things I'm going to share with you today. The very first one is something that I'm really excited about and it is this awesome shirt that I got from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. It is an exclusive to the party design so you see that little emblem on the bottom of the shirt there and it just has the cutest little design. It's got Mickey and Minnie and they're kissing under mistletoe and elf outfits and Look, Chip, that's what sold me. Chip and Dale are holding the mistletoe. I love Chip and Dale so much. It's got some glitter. It's really perfect for Christmas season and I'm looking forward to wearing it next year at Christmas at Tokyo Disney Resort. Another shirt that we bought, and this is something um, that we buy for my husband quite often, usually when we see them. Um, the, the Wonderground Gallery has been doing these beautiful designs of attraction themed Hawaiian shirts. My husband loves the Hawaiian shirt. We got him a Star Wars one um, in this same kind of pattern a few years ago. And this is the Pirates of the Caribbean one. It's a beautiful gold color. It's got pirates, it's got some of the lyrics, skull and crossbones, all sorts of things. There's some little pigs on here somewhere that I just love. I think they're so cute. Um, but yeah. Is there something that you guys usually buy when you go on trips? Hawaiian shirts are a big thing for my husband and I buy a lot of, and he does too, the Disney graphic t-shirts. I actually got a few other t-shirts on my trip, but I'm not going to show you those today. Um, but what is something that you always buy when you go on Disney trips? Or what's something that you are surprised that you found on a Disney trip? I would love to know, so tell me in the comments below. Another thing that I got, and this is in the surprising category, may, well, not for me because I've been to Animal Kingdom a lot of times, but if you haven't been to Animal Kingdom or Epcot or um, really browsed in their shops, you might be surprised at the really cute non-Disney things that you can find. So this is an adorable little basket. It's a hippo um, and it's a handmade basket that my husband found for me at um, Zuri Suites at Animal Kingdom. Um, it has candy and all sorts of other little um, houseware kind of things and lots of snacks that you can get to eat in the park like cake pops and marshmallows and I love Animal Kingdom. I love animals. And I love little tchotchkes like this. So um, that is, that's that. And they, I think they had elephants and um, maybe a lion. They were all really cute. All sorts of little animals. Like I said, that one's from Zuri Sweets in Animal Kingdom. And I just realized I should probably go back and tell you this. Uh, we saw in a lot of places. Um, I think we actually ended up buying this one at Fantasia Gifts. No, Bayview Gifts. Bayview Gifts at the Contemporary Resort. But we also saw it at Disney Springs um, at the Wonderground Gallery. And the shirt that I got, this one, this Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party shirt, was only available to uh, party attendees at the party. And I found this one at uh, Mickey's Star Traders in Tomorrowland. So something else that we got, um, I'm going to go on a little Animal Kingdom bender here <laughs> after my hippo. Uh, this is a this is a very fancy little spoon. Um, it's it's quite small. It's, it's smaller than a teaspoon. Um, but 
It's a beautiful hand carved spoon with some nice details. Uh, we also got this at Zuri Sweets in Animal Kingdom, but I've seen something similar at the Animal Kingdom Lodge gift shop as well. Um, I actually have a collection of these. I usually get one every single trip. I like this is a longer, larger one. I have some teeny tiny ones, and I usually use them for um, serving things like fancy salts or really nice sugars when I throw dinner parties and I want to feel fancy and a little exotic. Um, this is something that my husband surprised me with one night. He found this cute, tiny little giraffe at the Animal Kingdom Lodge gift shop at Jumbo House uh, right after we had dinner at Boma. And I love, like I said, I love little tchotchke things, but something that I really love about this is that we did the Sense of Africa tour last year and we were really looking for a giraffe themed souvenir um, to bring home with us because um, you meet giraffes, you meet okapi, we met ostriches and red river hogs, and you see a lot of different animals. And I love the giraffes, they were so sweet. And we couldn't find anything other than um, like plush toys to bring home. So this is now my little giraffe to always remind me of that. Very special experience. If you haven't uh, heard about Sense of Africa, it's a really uh, great VIP tour that they do. They only do it, I think, two times a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays. It's really early in the morning at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think we had to be there at 6 a.m. or 5.45 or something like that. But you get breakfast at Boma, you get this backstage tour of the safari areas at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jamba House in Kidani Village, and there are, it's, a, think three, three and a half hours is the most amazing experience. And if you would like to know more about that, tell me in the comments below and maybe I'll do a video just about the Sense of Africa tour. Something else that I like to buy a lot when we go on trips, surprise, surprise, is uh, things that are edible um, or that I can use in cooking because you know me and I love food and I really love Disney food. So these are very classic. I never leave without a bouquet of these uh, Mickey shaped lollipops. Something that I really love at Christmas time is not only do they come with an extra cute little tag, but um, these are all cherry and lime flavor. I, yeah, cherry and lime flavor, which are my two favorite flavors. Usually throughout the year, there is a bouquet of them also with five lollies, but there's a uh, cherry, lime, I don't know, there's three other colors. There's grape, there's orange, and maybe bubble gum or something like that. But Cherry and lime are my favorite, so Christmas time I always, always stock up. Plus they have this extra cute Santa Mickey on them, and what's wrong? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, let's stay on the edible uh, track for a while. So <laughs> this is Florida Sunshine. It's a salt blend that has um, lime, orange, lemon, sea salt, ginger, green peppercorns, and rose petals in it. My husband and I discovered this a few years ago, and you can get it at the Spice and Tea Exchange in, um, it's, like, it's like a corner of the Mickey's Pantry store at Disney Springs in the marketplace, and we love it so much. They actually have all kinds of different spice blends. I bought my brother a pirate pepper blend there one year. Um, they have a bunch of different spice blends, but then also um, little packets of teas and sugars and salts. I've gotten espresso infused sugar and Himalayan sea salt and uh, peach turmeric tea and all sorts of different things over the years. And they're all really delicious, but this is the one that we buy always when we go there. Even if we have some left at home, we buy one or two of these depending on when our next trip is because we use this for everything. We use it on chicken and fish and in salads and on vegetables. And it's just such a nice, light, refreshing seasoning to use. So I would really recommend you get some. Also at Disney Springs, a culinary hotspot apparently is the ganachery. So these are dark chocolate pearls. They're, they have a little crispy bit in the middle of them. I have them in strawberry. I've had them in caramel. I think they also come in milk chocolate and white chocolate. Um, but I love baking and I love having fun little garnishes that are like really nice high quality things to add to those things um, that I make with, with love for people's birthdays and dinner parties and that sort of thing. So I always get a tube or two of these at the ganachery along with a little ganache treat while I'm there because uh, then I can bring them home and use them to make something delicious. 
I'm just gonna stay at Disney Springs for a minute because they have another one of my favorite stores, which is Basin. Now you can find the main Basin store at Disney Springs in the marketplace, but they also have a smaller location called Basin White in the Grand Floridian on the top floor right near the monorail entrance. And they, uh, they sell bath and body products. So lotions and bath salts and bath bombs and that sort of stuff. But I love this company so much. And the only two places I found them have been in Vegas and in Disney World. They used to have a shop at Disneyland at Downtown Disney, but I think it's gone now. Um, so I stock up a lot. This is actually just a small amount of the things that I bought on our last trip because I like I like taking baths and feeling girly. And um, I just think their stuff smells great, makes my skin feel great. Um, and so I always stock up. So one of the things that I like to get there is lip balm. This one's a sangria lip balm, um, but I also really love their coconut lip balm. Um, I don't have any left right now because I already used it all, but I have, uh, they have a lip scrub and I have, I've had the lime and sangria lip scrubs from them that are really great. They have bath bombs and you can buy the bath bombs individually, or you can buy them, um, in a tube and they have small, medium and large bath bombs. And some of the medium ones are shaped like hearts. They come in all different scents. Um, this one is a, it's I think called therapy and it's really great for uh, relaxing really tired muscles. Sometimes I'll actually get a tube of these to bring home and then buy one or two to just use in my resort tub, um, in my resort room, in my tub to um, relax at the end of a very long day. Um, they also have these, which I think they called bath, yeah, bath bomb marbles, which are really little ones. So if you only want just a tiny, just a tiny bit of bath bomb, or you, you know, I, I usually use two or three in a tub. Um, or sometimes I'll make a foot bath and especially at Disney world and use just one of these and it's just perfect. Um, they have so many flavor, flavors, scents, um, that are amazing. I really like the cherry blossom, the therapy, uh, blue, the lavender. They have, oh, my very favorite is called Florida sunshine. And it, it's like tropical orangey deliciousness. I love it. Um, and it's actually different than their Satsuma one. Um, is it, I think it is called Florida sunshine. I know that's also the salt, but I'm pretty sure it's Florida something. Um, and it's very orangey smelling. They have so many different ones. They have a cute princess one and like little, little surprises hop out of it and a pirate one and little treasures hop out of it when it's, when it's, um, melting away. I had a beautiful winter one. I think it was, I think it was called snow and it was blue like Elsa's dress. And then all of these snowflake confettis came out of it. One time around my birthday, they had a birthday cake one that smelled like funfetti cake and it had little colored confettis that came out. Um, not all of them have things that come out of, out of the fizziness, um, but some of them do and it's pretty fun. This is something else that I like to get there. These are tubes that you can fill up with bath salts. So they have these big, beautiful glass jars of bath salts. You get these tubes and you fill um, whatever flavor combinations you like. Sometimes I'll do like a layered one, but uh, this one is just a solid color. And I actually think I bought a six pack of these and I did each tube in a different color. Um, so that's Basin, I really recommend it. Now, this is something that I found for my husband at World of Disney. He was looking for a new hat. He had a Spider-Man hat from a few years ago and it was kind of toast. So I found him this vacation mode hat. Um, it's a trucker hat, which is not usually Danny's style at home. Um, but in Florida, it's so hot that I like to give him something that has a lot of ventilation and it's adjustable in the back. And uh, it's I just thought it was so cute. Vacation mode activated, right? So this is the last thing, the last souvenir for my Disney World trip that I'm gonna show you. And I love him so much. He's my favorite. He's my Porg. While we were at, at Disney World, um, the Last Jedi came out, which is where the Porgs made their debut. And we actually went to Disney Springs to see it. And later that night we went to Hollywood Studios and we rode star tours. And I was just so in love with the Porgs that uh, Danny decided I had to have one. So we found this um, on Hollywood Boulevard in one of the gift shops. It basically everywhere was selling these at Hollywood Studios that weekend. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can still get them in the Star Wars themed gift gift 
gift shops and probably most places at Hollywood Studios, but he's so cuddly and plushy and he's so soft and I love him. So I know I'm in my 30s and I still get plushies when I go to Disney. What can I say? It's tradition, right? Um, this is a little bonus that I wanted to share with you because I've never gotten one of these before and it excited me so much. So this is this is a souvenir, but it's not something I bought and it's not something I got in the parks. It was actually mailed to me after. And I've heard about people getting these and it's a real sketch. Like it's not a computer generated thing. I mean, this part down here um, says a Schuster family vacation, but this is an actual sketch and it's signed of our little pal Dumbo. And it says, thank you. We hope you've enjoyed the magical memories of your Walt Disney World vacation. Thank you, Disney. I did enjoy them. It was our pleasure to have you visit us. And so we wanted to share our appreciation with a special print as our gift to you. Enjoy it as you dream of your next visit. Hope to see you again real soon. This sketch was specially created by senior character artist Don Ducky Williams. For over three decades, he's delighted millions with Disney character art for books, television, advertising, and collectibles. I thought this was such a nice thing. I know that you don't always get them when you go. I've been to Disney World dozens of times and I've never had one of these. Um, and I was just really touched that we happened to get one this time. And it is a very special memory and I'm going to get a frame for it and put it up in my office and look at all day long while I plan my next trip. So thanks for watching our first haul video. I'm sure that these will, uh, get a little better as we go along and we actually remember to show you everything when we get home. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite souvenirs are. And if there's any other topics that you'd like us to cover in these videos for It's a Fangirl World on YouTube, just let me know and I'll see what we can do. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, keep living the magic. Bye fangirls.